You ever wondered why, when you talk to certain people about the Bible and the things written therein, why most of them don't comprehend the stuff written therein? Or why they don't believe the stuff they're in? Some like to pick and choose what they perceive to be true or what they like about it and leave certain things out of it that they consider crazy, too crazy to believe. Or they don't believe there's enough proof. Well, all those issues could be summed up in one verse right here. Luke 24, 45. There are other verses, but this one is the one that jumps out the most. It says here that unless the Most High or His Son opens your understanding, you're not going to understand the Scriptures. So in order for understanding of what's written in the Bible, He must open your mind. It's that simple. Take a look at this verse, Acts sixteen fourteen. It says here that a certain woman named Lydia, she was a seller of purple, purple cloth. She was from this city right here you see on the screen. Thyatira, which worshipped the Most High. She was a worshiper of Yah. She heard some of the apostles and this woman whose heart the Savior opened so that she might attend unto the things which were spoken by Paul. So the Most High had to open this woman's heart so that she could even begin to listen to the things that Paul was saying. So her heart was circumcised. So your mind needs to be open as well as your heart so that you can begin to listen and comprehend. That's why most people you talk to nowadays, you know, if you're a believer and you want to share the scriptures with them, you know, you're wasting your time. You know, you know those that are called, they will take heed, they will listen. The elect, oh, they're going to be constantly indulging themselves in the scriptures. You know? But a Gentile, a heathen, a non-believer, hey, you know, it's bad enough. You see people out here that say they're believers, but, you know, they're the called. They believe certain things, but for whatever reason, they haven't gotten their, either their heart open, their mind open, or their ears. Yes, your ears need to be open, too. It says here that the Son of the Most High came for what? He came in order to give us understanding he came so that we might understand and there's other passages throughout the Old Testament see here this is from Job 33 16 then he opened it the ears of men so you see your ears need to be open your heart circumcised and your mind needs to be enlightened he opens our ears and seals our instruction And if he's not doing that, then he's not dealing with that person. You need to leave him alone. You're wasting your time. They're probably heading to hell, you know? They're on their way to destruction. You you need to leave him alone. You need to check, test the spirits, you know, because, you know, sometimes you're telling a, a person a certain truth and they just don't seem to get it for whatever reason. They profess to be a believer, but you, you're constantly telling them or correcting them over and over. Then that means their heart might not be circumcised or they, their ears might be dull of hearing. So they need to be op reopened or their mind is not, it's not uh, being enlightened. Whatever the reason is, this person is, uh, he's, this person or whatever individual is on, in danger of not completely making it, you know, falling short. Because unless you have your ears open, your mind enlightened, opened, and your heart circumcised, then you're not going to understand the things you need to to be saved. Job 36.10, 
Again, he opens our ears to discipline and commands us to turn from iniquity. He does that. You don't do that yourself. You don't. People think, oh, you, you need to listen. Do you have ears to hear? Uh, yeah, 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 I have ears to hear. No, you don't. How come you're not, you know, you don't get all this, all this stuff that people are telling you about. You're like, oh, no, well, I don't believe that. Because your mind ain't, ain't, ain't enlightened. Your mind's not open. Your ears are dull. Your ears ain't open either, and neither your, is your heart circumcised. So some of these people, I mean... Their eyes are blind, as it says here, Isaiah 35, 5. I'm giving you a couple of verses. I gave you a few from the New Testament, and here's a few from the Old to show you that, again, unless the Most High opens your eyes, you can't see, or your ears, you remain deaf. Then the eyes of the blind shall be open, and the ears of the deaf shall be on stop. So, until this happens, that individual is deluded or self-deceived. You know, and some people are going to be like that all the way to the lake of fire. You know, again, consider those that are called. Those that are called might have their eyes open a little bit, their ears open a little bit, so their mind begins to comprehend a little bit. So you got to work with the Spirit and have your eyes and ears completely open so that you can help yourself, you know, overcome until the end, and then boom, now you're rolling. If you have the elect, well, obviously you're going to have your eyes open, your ears as well. So your mind could be ready to receive all these things. But most people, the majority of the world, they're reprobate. They're not going to get these things. So they look at the Bible like, eh, whatever, you know. Isaiah 55. The Most High opened my ear, and I was not rebellious, neither turned away. Back to your former state. So yeah, it's all there. The Most High must open your ears, your mind and heart. So don't beat yourself over the head why most people you share the, the gospel, the canon, all these truths with, they don't get it. Well, now you know why. All right, so I just wanted to share that bit. That's all I have for this video. Till next time. Much love. Stay blessed and shalom.